Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. Welcome to another purchase or pass. And you guys, I have not done one of these in far too long. It's been like two or three-ish weeks at this point. I don't even know. And I'm here to fix that, okay? I am here to bring you all my thoughts and opinions. And I also came, of course, with a little snack. These are the mini Starbursts. Uh, just because, y'all, I'm not gonna lie, I really, uh, I just really need something sweet and delicious. And I was gonna grab the Oreos because if you follow me over on Instagram, you know I've been um, obsessed with those lately. Uh, which, by the way, the other night I was doing like a taste testing comparison between the new Oreos. Oreo Thins and the regular double stuffed. Oh, bitch, they're both great in their own ways. World of the story, I was gonna eat Oreos and then I remembered that they get all that, you know, shit all up in your teeth and I really don't need that for a video. So instead, we're gonna eat some mini Starbursts. Mmm, my God, they're so good and chewy and perfect. But we're gonna go through here, and if you're new to these videos, what we do is we talk about new makeup launches, stuff that is either recently launched or that is launching, and I tell you if I like it, if I don't, I'm, sometimes I mock and make fun of things, it's who I am, and I just tell you overall, is it a purchase or a pass, and why? And there's really not anything more to it than that. We just, like I said, sit down, we talk about stuff, we have a snack, and uh, we just enjoy some time. Also, oh, I wanna mention too, um, before I get going into this video, if you missed, um, I just got done filming this, it would have been Monday's video, I'll link it up here, where I went through and I actually tested out Gigi Hadid's post-pregnancy makeup routine. So if you want to see how that routine would work on, you know, someone that has more texture, more acne, scarring, stuff like that, again, definitely check out uh, Monday's video. Again, it'll be linked up above. Then also to one more side point that I promise I'm done, before we get going into the video, please make sure that you subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and follow me on Instagram. Everything will be linked down below. I would really appreciate it. On this platform, I post Monday, Wednesday, Friday, typically right around 7, 7.30-ish a.m., bright and early, northern Michigan time. Okay, we got a northern Michigander over here. And then over on Instagram, if you don't follow me there, I do post all the time, day in and day out, whether it is posts in my feed, I do a lot of makeup content, um, IGTV, plus size fashion, stuff like that. And then I also am in the Insta stories a ton. We hang out, we do polls, we do unboxings, and all the good things. So make sure that you are followed me there, because that is where you get to hang out with me, and really just get, really just get that inside scoop on my crazy life. Um, and by crazy life, I mean, you know, I eat Oreos. So it's definitely not something that you want to miss, okay? Obviously. Uh, but let's get going into this video. I was just kind of scrolling around and giving it a little meander. I'm actually going to get started first with the uh, newest launch here from Dominique Cosmetics. This is their new, what is this called? Like the Transition Palette, I think, right? Yeah, the Transition Palette. And this is marketed as an everyday go-to eye and face palette that can do it all. It can define, contour, brighten, highlight, and more. It has 15 pigmented, long-wearing, blendable matte shades for $48. Now, normally with ones like this, I would say, because obviously you guys know, if you're new here, you might not know, but I am a neutral fiend, okay? I love all things in the neutral realm. I love them because they're easy, they're blendable, they're wearable, like in the day-to-day -day world. And for me, palettes like this, they just, they age really well with me because no matter what, I feel like this is something I always revert back to. But the reason that I haven't picked this up yet, and again, I say yet, because I haven't fully decided, I'm waiting to see what some other people say um, as far as like the blendability, the use of it, and stuff like that. But the reason I didn't pick it up yet is because I wasn't sure sure if this was something I would actually be able to use all over the face. And I know that that sounds a little bit weird, but I was trying to think, you know, could I justify this as just an eye palette? Like if I can't use it for anything else, no bronzer, no blush, no nothing, just eyes, I wouldn't really want to pick it up, right? Because for $48, I don't need it. And I have a ton of other neutral palettes uh, that accomplish basically the same thing. But I will say if this is something where I could use it all over the face, if I could use it, you know, again, bronzer, blush, um, eyes, all of that, like if I could use it in so many different areas, it would be a one and done stop. I think at that point, I would consider purchasing it um, for $48 because I think that it would be worth it, not only from a price point perspective, but it would be more worth it as far as a, you know, usable option. I could grab it. It would be one item and I'd be able to get a lot of use out of it. So at this point for me, really what I want to know, and if any of you know, or if there's um, anything that you've heard, please comment down below. But at this point, what I want to know out of this palette is if the shades, what are they? Like caramel, toffee, those two lighter brown tones on the top. At this point, that's all I want to know. Will those shades work as a bronzer? I don't know. But for $48, if it's just an eye palette, I would have to say pass. But if you could use it for more than just that, if there's more, if there's more of a perceived value, then I think that, you know, the, the shades are really beautiful. All right. So here's one. <laughs> Guys, we're back at it again. This is the newest Urban Decay palette, the new Wild West Urban Decay palette, to be more specific. Um, this one is going to be live, it looks like, on Sephora on February 8th, retailing for $49. And I really love the packaging. Hold on, I wanna get into the 
description here. It says, this is 12 desert-inspired neutral eyeshadows from pale peach and metallic bronze to deep blue and green and turquoise shimmer. It has mattes, metallics, and shimmer finishes inspired by California's deserts, the Joshua trees, and the endless skies. Again, retailing for $49. Now, I will say for me, like upon, upon first glimpse of this palette, first of all, the packaging is stunning. I love that it has like that snake skin kind of iridescent duochrome look to it. I think that that is freaking gorgeous. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed, if I'm being honest, that there wasn't like some sort of a duochrome shade in here that could have, you know, pulled from the packaging or maybe even two of them, like one that shifted orange yellow and then maybe another one that went turquoise to green or, you know, just something like that. Something that I think you could have played a little bit more heavily with. That's just my personal opinion, especially given to like, I think that a duochrome or like a multi-chrome is kind of the new pop of blue in a palette. Like if you've seen in the last few months, there's a ton of palettes that are releasing that are, you know, neutral or like they've got this one color scheme and then they just throw in that duochrome. And I love that concept because I personally really like duochromes. I know that they're not everybody's thing, but I feel like that is something that would have been a little bit more fitting for where we are in makeup as a whole um, versus this palette. Because this palette, it looks like they kind of stuck with the tried and true, you know, pop of blue or in this case, a pop of turquoise. And it's not that I don't like it. It's just that this one to me, I think would have fit better in 2020, which I mean, who knows? Maybe that's when it was supposed to release. I don't know. But um, I just, I feel like based on the trends of where we're at, a duo chrome or a multi-chrome would have been the new pop of blue. And this one still having it is kind of setting it back, at least for me. Now I will say again, all of that being what it is, uh, you know, me, me just tearing it to shreds for 20 minutes here. Um, I actually do like this palette, but I'm also somebody that typically does gravitate towards palettes like this. Like I love a neutral palette with a pop of anything just because you have like your day to day, your crease colors and stuff like that. But then you also have that extra little something like you can have it as a liner, you can have it as an all over shade or pop it on the lower lash line. Like there's, there's a lot that you can do um, that's quick and fast. There's just a lot that I personally like to do when I do my makeup um, that involves a lot of neutrals and like one or two fun little pops. So for me, again, this is a, a pretty attractive palette in that regard. So next up, it looks like we have a new-ish or a, yes, an up and coming launch rather from Charlotte Tilbury. This is their Super Radiance Resurfacing Facial, and it's going to be a two-in-one miracle facial in a tube. It's going to have glycolic acid to help you resurface, hydrate, and add a radiance for an instant glow, and it doesn't have anything else as far as a launch date or a cost on it, um, but I am kind of curious. I'm just looking at the ingredients here. It says that there's going to be 1% aloe vera to help reduce the appearance of irritation, which aloe vera is so good for your skin. There's also going to be 2.5% avocado oil, which is ri rich in fats and vitamin E to enhance the skin's barrier function, which I love that. It also says, too, that there's going to be 100% natural, 100% natural lemon and rose fragrance. And then there's also... What the hell is this? Polyglutamatic? What the hell? The glutamatic! It's, doesn't that sound like an exercise machine for your ass? This is the glutamatic 500, bitch, and we are just getting our life going. It's the poly, poly, glutamic. Glutamic? Glut, glut, glutamic? Glutamic? Okay, yeah. Uh, acid. And this is going to, what does this say? Four times more hydration than hyaluronic acid. It creates a hydrated filter effect on the skin... Uh, to reduce the appearance of lines, fine lines and wrinkles. Ooh. So I know I made fun of it at first, but that last one kind of got me, guys. I'm curious. Like, should I try it? When, well, obviously, again, when it comes out, I know it's not here yet. I mean, who knows, though? Maybe it would be up by the time this one happens. I don't know. But either way, I'm kind of curious. What do you guys think? Is it going to be good? Not good? I just get so nervous when they say fragrance. I know it's said natural, but they get me with that fragrance every time. My God, are these things good? Holy hell. All right, so next up, I don't know if I'm getting these in PR or not, but I still want to give them a shout out. The newest launch from Lunar Beauty. Manny came out with lashes, you guys, and these are so freaking gorgeous. I know I don't wear lashes a ton, but when I tell you that pair, Stella, oh my God, okay, they're like the lightest, beautiful, wispy ass looking lash. Out of the four pairs, though, that one is my favorite, and it looks like price-wise, these are, of course, faux mink lashes with a soft cotton band. Um, it's roughly 20 uses per band. They retail for $15 each or $45 for the bundle, which I think that the bundle sold out in like two minutes or less. So it was crazy. He had such a fantastic launch with these. But then again, Manny also puts out really, really good makeup. So can't be mad at that. And these did launch, by the way, back on February 4th. So I don't know... Um, if any of the styles are still available for purchase or not, but I will have the website linked down below if you guys want to check them out. No, also gorgeous. Starburst. Okay, but seriously, can we just talk about these? The level of excitement that I have, these are new from Milk Makeup, and it is the Color Chalks. First of all, that name, 
the color chalks. Uh, does that not do something? Like, am I the only person that when I hear that, I'm just like, oh my God. Like, I, I feel some kind of way because these are so gorgeous. It says that they um, are, hold on. Let me get to the description. These are a handmade glide onto eyelids, cheek, lips, or beyond for a buildable shimmering payoff. They come in a peel off wrapper and portable reusable tube. They can be used wet or dry. They're infused with a blend of essential oils for a subtle scent, which I love that. Okay, subtle scent. Thank you. That's what I want to hear. Uh, and they are a silky shimmering 14 shades and they retail for $18 a piece. They did release, it looks like, on February 5th on their website and February 12th on Sephora. But seriously, guys, these just look absolutely stunning. I 100% plan on picking some up. Like, I'm just going to say it because just even the color of the packaging, I'm just like, oh my God, milk, what are you doing? Stop, stop. Like, I can't, I cannot help myself. And like, I was just talking about actually in my... It was my month end favorites, which I can link up here. I was talking about these dazzle sticks from KVD, and this was the first thing I thought of when I saw these. Like maybe the maybe the texture is going to be similar, the application, I don't know, but I am so curious because I love stuff like this. I think it's so simple, and it makes application like it, it makes doing an eye look that it just looks like you tried so hard take like no time at all. But I used to. Okay, I will fully admit this. I used to be that bitch that it took me 45 minutes to do my eyeshadow. Like I wanted all the colors and the textures and the shines and the cut creases and the little glitter along the cut crease and then the liner and the wing and the blah, blah, blah. I did so many steps and I just, I loved it so much, right? And I feel like in the last couple of years, like I've definitely lost that, not in like a, um, like a I'm uninspired kind of way, but I just now, even when I play with color and glitter and stuff like that, I want it to be simple and effortless and look flowy and blended and just, I don't know, for me, I just, I want my eyeshadow looks to be beautiful, but I also want them to be fast. Like efficiency is my thing and if I can't do my eyes in like, you know, five to 10 minutes or less. I'm just like, check this game. What is happening here? I don't want, I don't want any part of this. And products like this, they just make me excited. They make me inspired to want to add that shimmer. And I just love them. And I'm so pumped to try them. And I, did I mention that I love the name color chalk? Oh, color chalk color chalk. Ooh. Okay. So let's talk about this one real quick. Okay, sorry. I don't know what the hell I just did to my hair. Um, but the launch that Jaclyn cosmetics had her Valentine's day capsule collections, Yo, is the amount of anger. Oh my God, the amount of anger that I can only imagine went toward Jaclyn Hill on this one because she, and don't get me, I, I can see it from all sides, okay, right? Like I see it as her being the business owner, being like, oh my God, is anybody gonna wanna buy my stuff? Especially if you think about like, she's had some scandals with like lip situations, um, you know, like her lipsticks kind of being, you know, fuzzy and shit. Um, so you take that and then there's lip products in these bundles. So I could see from her side, you know, she said I was kind of nervous. I didn't wanna have too much because then obviously that's product that she has to sit on. Then from everyone else's perspective, all of us, we're all going, bitch, are you kidding me? Like, of course we want it. We need it now because everybody wanted to get their hands on it, right? So all of these people were mad and I know people were pissed because I even had it in my DMs. There weren't like a ton of people in my DMs, but there were a couple people that were pissed that I did. Not only did I got it, but then I said it out loud and apparently that was bad. I don't know. Um, but I was just having a really good day. Obviously, I was excited to get it. Don't get me wrong. But I was coming off of like a two-day high because if you don't follow me on Instagram, let me give you a little recap, okay? Thursday, Thursday night after work, I find out that I got reposted by Urban Decay, okay? One of the little video things that I made on Instagram, they reposted it, which is huge, okay? I was super excited about that. Already, already flying high, okay? High as a fucking kite. Then, the next day I posted, I shared on Instagram um, that I actually did a little campaign. I was a part of a campaign with Good Molecules, and I don't think I've actually said it on here yet because it hadn't launched yet, but <laughs> surprise, um, I did a campaign with Good Molecules, and it was super exciting. They finally shared it. They launched it on their site, and so I was talking about that on Friday as well, which was the same day this launched on the 5th. And so I was coming off of like these multiple, you know, multiple things that were going on. Everything was great. And then I got my hands on this. So I was just fucking pumped, you guys. I was so excited. Um, and then again, come to find out there was like a shit storm behind the scenes with this whole thing. Everything sold out. It was a disaster. And I don't blame people for being pissed for like not even one second because I was a livid when it came down to, what was it? The Lucky Bag, this most recent one from Beautylish. Um, yeah, I just decided like I'm done. I'm, I'm all set on trying to get those motherfuckers, guys, because I cannot not get one. Like I have tried for the last two, two or three years to get one. Um, the XL bag this year, I literally had it in my car.
cart and when I hit checkout they took it out of my cart like it was just it was gone I went to go get it and it was already gone like the the whole site was crashing I couldn't click anything and I was pissed so I don't blame anybody for being mad that they couldn't get this because it's the same kind of frustration especially if you're like me you were super excited you were waiting you had your alarm set like th this was just a pain in the ass all around and I just want to mention two things real quick um before I scuttle away from this number one when I get this in the mail we will go through it we're going to talk about it swatch it apply it you know get really get a feel for all the things textures what's going on do I like it do I not I'll give you guys all the tea so that's number one and also number two I'm not trying to like toot my own horn or anything but I'm just really pumped if you wanted to take a look at my good molecules profile because guys I have my own profile I have my own profile on their website it talks about my skin concerns my favorite stuff from them that I like and it's just really awesome so if you want to check that out I do have my oh yeah and I have my own this is this is important I have my own affiliate link for their website like my own place where you go through it you shop through it and I will have that link down below even if you're not there to shop just you know go ahead click through check out my profile because I'm pretty proud of it and I will say too even if you go there you look at my profile but like maybe you and I don't have the same type of skin like maybe if I have oily you have dry whatever this is actually a really cool campaign I know this is such a tangent but this is a really good campaign because the way that they did it they actually reached out I think there's 15 of us total and it was really cool because each person um, has like different skin types, different skincare concerns, like as far as what they're trying to correct, this or that. And it's just really cool because as regular people are going to the site, it really breaks it down. Like you can find somebody that has your skin concern or this type and you know, what's their favorite ingredient? What's their favorite product? What's their favorite this or that? And it really helps you guys have like firsthand knowledge from people as far as like, and not, not, and not just somebody that created it, like somebody that has tried it or tested it, you know, that's actually reviewed quote unquote stuff before. And it's just really cool that you guys can actually have the perspective of a reviewer versus the perspective of just the brand. And I just, I don't know, I really loved the idea as a whole. I think it's super helpful. And like as a consumer, even I was going through their website, kind of perusing other people's profiles. Anyways, I just want to put it out there. If you're curious, check out that. I'll have it linked down below. And then as far as the Jaclyn Hill thing goes, like I said, we will talk about it. I'm super bummed for all the people that weren't able to get their hands on it because there wasn't a ton of stock or whatever, whatever the hell they had going on over there. But um, rest assured, we will get into it. As soon as I get it, we're going to talk, swatch, and do all the things. So stay tuned for that uh, because I'm pumped, guys. I'm pumped to just tear in, tear into this shit. So next up here, it looks like spring of 2021. We have the KKW Beauty Collection. And oh, oh, wait, maybe there's two of them. There's like a flowery one and a honey one, maybe. Yeah, it looks like there is the Matte Mauve Collection and the Matte Honey Collection. And both of them have an eyeshadow palette that is $45. They have lipsticks for $18, liners for $12 and blushes for 28. That purple one, the mauve one, I actually really love. There's like a periwinkle tone in there. I just kind of caught that one out of the corner of my eye. That's actually really beautiful. I was about ready to say like, yeah, I don't need these, but like maybe, maybe I need that purpley one because that periwinkle shade is damn gorgeous. It looks like there is an option, both collection bundle for $320. I'm sorry, what? $320? Um, yeah, no, I, don't, I definitely don't need both bundles. Okay, let's not get crazy. You can get the mauve collection or the honey collection individually for $160, or you can get a lipstick bundle, which doesn't have a price, and a palette bundle for $85. So if you wanted both of those. Um, I think think, oh God, see, here's the thing. I probably, I'll be honest, I probably will not end up picking these up. They launch on February 12th, which when you guys see this, they'll either be live or they're almost live. If I were to get one, surprisingly enough, I think it would be the mauve collection because I really love the look of those lips. I think the, um, the lipsticks are gorgeous. The, um, the liners look amazing, but in the end, I really just don't need them. And that's what I keep kind of going back to. Um, even as much, wow, those lipsticks are actually really beautiful. I need to stop looking at this because the more I look, the more I need. Um, need. I don't, I still don't need it. Um, but yeah, I think if I were to pick one of the two, it would probably be the mauve collection. It's just soft and it's got that periwinkle. It has that little bit of deep purple too that I would love. Oh, um, so yeah, for me, color story, beautiful. I really do like both stories. I lean more toward the mauve. Will I pick it up? Probably not, but like I would also want to, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm, it's kind of tugging at me a little bit because I think it's pretty. All right, so next up, here's one I am freaking pumped about, okay? This is the new Cafe Collection and it is from Marc Jacobs. It will be live. It goes live on February 8th. So by the time you guys see this, it should be out already. And in this, there is going to be, first of all, their Extra Shot Caffeine Concealer and Foundation which says, did you see how excited I sound like Winnie the fucking Pooh when I get excited? <laughs> uh, but it says, concealer 
Seal and Perfect Caffeine Infused Creamy Full Coverage Long Wear Increase Resistant, which I'll be the judge of that shit, uh, natural looking, instantly conceal dark circles, blemishes, and redness. Buildable foundation for a visibly smoother, more even complexion. Oversized applicator for quick all over coverage. Blend seamlessly for skin that looks brighter, revived, and re-energized. Okay, yes, please sign me up, slather it right in this region. And then it says infused with caffeine, oat extract, and five forms of coconut hydrating vegan formula in 30 shades um, for $39 a piece. Okay, so right there, oh, <laughs> you better believe it. Okay, I'm gonna be testing that out. Stay tuned because I need that in my life. Like everything that that just said sounds so damn beautiful to me. So yes, I will 100% be testing that out. Moving on. And next up, okay, also from Marc Jacobs, we have the Omega Times 3. This is their powder blush bronzer highlight palettes and it has their favorite bronzer tantastic and tantalize which are the two different bronzers they have by the way tantastic is fucking beautiful i've loved it for years it's a great formula perfect color wonderful um it has a satin sheen blush and a soft shimmering highlight retailing for 49 dollars also will be getting this, okay? I love, <laughs> love, love Tantastic, and I really love the look of this palette. My only concern, I'll say it right now, okay? You all know, I like to be able to really get my my brush in the pan, my buh, 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 buh stutter, I don't know, but I like to get my brush in there, really swirl it around, make it round, do its thing, and with these, because they got this weird-ass shape to them, I won't be able to do that, which is kind of unfortunate, but we're gonna work with it, we're gonna roll with it, lean with it, rock with it. <laughs> God, I think I'm cool when I'm not, uh, but we're, go we're gonna pick it up, okay? We're gonna talk about it, moral of the story, Again, $49 on that. And then they also have their Highliner Matte Gel Eye Crayons, new shades for $26. Now these, I do love the formula, but um, I don't know specifically that I necessarily need these because they're close enough to what I already have. So I love the formula, but I don't really need these. But again, the first two things, bitch, get to me. Just get it right here because it's coming home to me and I have, I, I'm making no apologies, okay? I will be testing it and it's gonna be good. At least I hope it's gonna be good. I don't know if it's gonna be good, but I hope it's gonna be good. All right, so there's a couple things that that I wanted to talk about over on the Ulta website because I was I was perusing their website earlier and there's really nothing left that I want to talk about on Trend Mood. Um, but over here, I did see something new from Elemis. This is their new Superfood Glow Priming Moisturizer and it already has four and a half out of five stars. It retails for $49. And it says on here in the description, because obviously I haven't tried it yet, so if you guys have, please tell me down below. Uh, but it says that this is a perfect recipe for a dewy glow. It is a silicone-free moisturizer that primes to hydrate to reveal a smooth and radiant complexion. It's formulated with an energizing blend of kombucha and fermented ginger to help brighten and illuminating, uh, or help brighten and illuminate the skin, give you a subtle radiance. And it says that this can be used as a daily moisturizer, a hydrating makeup primer, or to just enhance your skin's natural luminosity. So I'm assuming like, you know, right up in this area if you wanted that natural brightness. But with this one, what I'm wanting to know, and I'm hoping you guys can help me with this, maybe, or maybe, maybe, if you've already seen somebody use it, that would be cool too. Kind of kind of just give me any info that you have. But what I wanted to know is, will this work on someone like me who has like combo leaning oily skin? Because what I end up having, especially in the winter months, is that, and I've talked about this before, but on the side profiles, wow, it got dark in here, you guys. It is so dark outside. Sorry, we're in the middle of a snowstorm and I didn't realize how dark I was on camera this whole time. Sorry, maybe if I sit back here, it'll help. I feel like the farther I sit away, the better that it is on camera maybe. I don't know. But anyways, what I end up having having in the winter is on my peripheral, like right here, both cheeks on this portion, it always ends up looking a little bit more dull for me. Like the, the I lose the, the nice sheen and the luminosity that's supposed to kind of come out of your skin when you have combo leaning oily. And I know it's because it's the winter and like my skin is just kind of going through some shit that's normal. But what I wanted to know with this one is maybe if I just put it like on the outskirts, am I still gonna get that nice luminosity or is it gonna make me look kind of oily, thick and cakey? And I think it's gonna be mainly a texture situation situation and I'm assuming it's pretty good because it has four out of five stars with 82 reviews already but I'm just really really curious so if you guys have any info moral of the story please let me know down below because it's a new one and I would be really curious to try it all right now here's one that I have in my cart on Ulta because I'm really curious about it this is new from it cosmetics and it's their new your skin but better makeup primer and it currently has five out of five stars which is crazy with hundred and 
68 reviews retailing for $39 and it says that this is a Your Skin But Better makeup primer and it is a makeup gripping base that hydrates your skin while extending the wear of your makeup. And that right there, okay, that first line, that was what got it to go in my cart because anything that's going to hydrate my skin but also grip to my skin, like bitch, <laughs> I am listening, I wanna know what you have to say. Then it goes on to say too that it is a skin transforming primer that will also work to refine the look of pores. It's perfect for all skin types, including sensitive, and featuring our day grip technology, this primer can be worn underneath makeup by itself or for a more, ju just for a more refined and hydrated complexion. And that little spot right there, by the way, where it says perfect for all skin types, that was what I was looking for on the Elemis one because if it said like perfect for all or perfect for dry or anything like that, just to give me a little guidance, um, that would have been really handy because I just want to know like if it's going to work for my skin type. And see this one, it says it and it says it's good for all. So like, bitch, I'm going to be on it. I'm going to try it uh, because I'm curious. And also too, I've been using um, this from It Cosmetics, their Your Skin But Better setting spray. And I actually really like this. I haven't had any issues. So moral of the story, we will be testing that one eventually. Uh, so just stay tuned because it's in the bag. I just haven't ordered it yet. I was kind of hoping like a couple more things would come around and then I could, you know, kind of place it all at once. Uh, but if I have to, bitch, I, I will just buy it by its damn self because I want to know if it's good. But all right, you guys, with that, we are officially done with today's video because my phone just died. So <laughs> let me know all of your thoughts down below. I know that this one, we really didn't cover a ton of makeup. I guess there's not much. Now that I look back on it, I did scroll past a lot of stuff. There must not have been really anything that was, like, you know, catching my eye. Because uh, for me to want to talk about it and like really think about it, look at it, consider it, it has to really be interesting. And I'm just not, I'm not really getting it. Oh, I will say, random side note, and then I'm done. Um, there is this new launch coming out three, what am I doing? What is this? I don't know. Um, three, one, I want to say of January, February, March. Yeah, like right around March 1st, Wet n Wild, I think it is, is dropping a new dry or 45 second nail polish or something. And that I'm very curious about. Obviously it hasn't launched yet, but like, bitch, <laughs> okay, that one. You better be on the lookout. I love nail polish. Right now I'm wearing from KL Polish. This is, or not KL Polish. What am I saying? Lights Lacquer, the new KL Polish. This is the shade... Lila, I want to say. I'll have everything, of course, linked or whatever down below. But I pretty much do wear almost always, like 99% of the time, I'm wearing Lights Lacquer. And I just love this shade. And I, I honestly, I love the formula too. It lasts really well. But I'm really interested to see like a 45 second nail polish. Like, is it going to be good? Is it going to be cheap? Is it going to be shitty? Is it going to be like super thin and watery? Is it going to be opaque? Like, how how is this going to go down? I just, I want to know all the details. And so, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on that. And uh, when it goes live, obviously, we'll talk about it more. But again, as I was saying, this video is over, Paige. This video is over. Quit talking about new stuff. Well, stuff, stuff that hasn't even launched yet. It's not coming out for like a month, and here I am just talking about it, um, which I guess is kind of the point. But um, yeah, let me know all of your guys' thoughts and opinions down below, whether it is on these launches, other launches, other stuff you want me to check out, whatever. Again, leave me all of your thoughts down below. And also too, if there's any specific launch that y'all want to sound off about, please feel free to do that down below because I, I welcome, okay, I welcome the sassitude of other people and their opinions. Like, please give it to me. Bring it in, honey. I want, I want to hear all your thoughts down below. And as I said at the start of the video, as per usual, you can subscribe, turn on your post notifications, follow me on Instagram. Everything would be greatly appreciated. It will be linked down below. And any of this that has launched or is available currently, I'll make sure that that is linked for you as well. And guys, I think that that is everything. Wow, that was a really loud, that was a cuppy kind of clap right there. Um, but yeah, that is everything, you guys. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Not gonna lie, my first thought was like, bitch, hand me a fucking Starburst before I die. I make it a pink one. Oh my, oh my. Sorry, but can someone explain to me? I thought crack was illegal. <laughs> Here I sit. Oh my God. Just ingesting it, bitch, and they sell it by the little bag. I'm the only one that feels like the unwrapped situation. Okay, it's a little bit dangerous if you think about it because I think the wrappers on the Starburst, like that's the only thing that slows my bitch ass down. Like I gotta stop, gotta unwrap something and then put it in my mouth and then unwrap and then put it in my mouth. And with these, it's just like, nom, 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 nom. like there's there's really nothing getting in the way. Like once you pop that top, honey boo boo, you're just, you just got free. You can just dump the whole thing in if you want to. There's really nothing to slow your ass down. And that's concerning because my ass needs slowing. Like, I got a lot of inertia behind this booty, okay? It's good just really go places. Also, shout out to anybody else that knows that they're supposed to be eating dinner right now because you can smell it. I know that it's done and it just, it just came out the oven and I'm still sitting back here eating Starburst. <laughs> I'm living on the wild side.